we go along. And Phoebe here, who has the most beautiful smile in the world, is going to tell us how we're going to do it. We, we've actually made some progress on that plane. Um, and Berkeley, you know, is a cauldron, and it's important that we keep it so because it's, it's moved to the right, so I really appreciate the work of the Berkeley Progressive Alliance and Berkeley Citizens Action. We've got to get two more progressives. We only have three out of nine progressives anymore, so there are a lot of six to three decisions that we don't like. But um, Ber the, the rest of the country doesn't know that. When they read in the news that Berkeley did something conservative, it's so discouraging for them because they don't realize that our elected officials here now are more conservative than the electorate. Why? Because most of the Berkeley voters aren't really paying attention on the local level, only on the national level. And we have to do both. It's not enough to do just the local level. We have to think and act both locally and globally. It's the only thing, um, the only way we'll get things changed. So Berkeley actually stood up to the stolen election of 2004. We uh, passed a resolution that was unanimous, and we worked very hard on it, and it had like a 10-point program calling for a lot of what Harvey mentioned. Um, and it, sometimes these things spread, and they go nationwide, and lots of cities pass such things as Berkeley does, and then it really makes a difference. So Berkeley also was the first city in the nation to call for ending personhood corporate personhood back in 2004 when hardly anybody had heard of it. And uh, Berkeley was the first city in the nation to um, object to Citizens United versus the FEC, which of course gave unlimited corporate spending um, for elections. And, um, and that now has spread. Now there have been hundreds and hundreds of cities who have called for a constitutional amendment ending corporate personhood and money being considered speech. So we, we have a lot of victories there, and, but we have to keep going, of course. Um, so you all know this, the, the root problem, um, Monsanto poisoning our, our food supply, poisoning our, 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 our land with PCBs, and Berkeley has, has joined the lawsuit against Monsanto. That's new. They decided that just last week, and Chris Worthington is responsible for that. He was here, but he, he had to leave. Councilmember Chris Worthington. And um, is George Lipman here? I want to point out George Lipman, who chairs the um, Peace and Justice Commission that's done a lot of the, a lot of the things um, that the city did. So, um, Berkeley also last year got a cell phone safety ordinance to inform people about cell phone safety and um, we were sued uh, as expected by the telecom industry big telecom and i guess who defended us How, who, who knows who here knows who defended us yes call it out larry lessig successfully defended berkeley in that lawsuit and we won we only had to take out one little part right. about about children being more isn't that ironic that it was that's like the loophole that the, the thing that got us on that we had to take out was the children being more vulnerable. Um, but the, the, the larger issue is still so, that's, that's going to be a, a good thing that's going to happen. Um, so fossil fuels, climate chaos, nuclear power, uh, the U.S. being the largest weapons manufacturer, drones and torture for oil wars, all that goes back to what? Corporate What's the root money. reason for it? Money. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I thought you were going to say 1% greed or 1% stupidity or short-sightedness. Yes, but really, it's the corporation is the mechanism for that. So um, we, we, we have some more victories on that plane. The, 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 the only way to reverse the Supreme Court decisions that gave the corporations the power to run and to ruin our world is what? How can we revert, reverse the Supreme Court? Yep, constitutional amendment. And does anybody know the number of the amendment, the good one that's been introduced now in Congress? 28th Amendment. For, uh, well, it will be the 28th Amendment. There have already been 27. It will be the 28th. But the number is House Joint Resolution 48. And more good news. It's getting more and more co-sponsors now. Our own Congresswoman, Barbara Lee, after we've been working on it for like 12, 13 years, she finally is co-sponsoring that amendment. So that's one thing that we can do is get more co-sponsors, more Congress members to co-sponsor that. It was introduced by Nolan, and it's growing. 
What is it? Um, it's a constitutional amendment that will say that a corporation is not a person and not entitled to constitutional rights, and that spending money is not the same as expressing free speech. Oh. So it, it has to have both of those. There are other ones that have in, been introduced, but we need both of those prongs for it to be effective. And then it will change, it won't be, you know, the panacea, but it will change so much. So much will become possible once we get that. Um, and California had Proposition 49 towards that end, um, and it was pulled from the last, last ballot, but here's another victory. Um, the Su California Supreme Court just decided, yes, that can go through. It's going to be on the November ballot. Give me a yay! Okay, um, but it goes back to the California legislature, and we have to make sure that the California legislators keep it strong that it's not enough just to reverse Citizens United. How many of you agree that the corporations had already taken over before 2010? Yeah, so we have to make it strong. It has to say those two things. A corporation isn't a person or isn't entitled to constitutional rights and money is not speech. And so we've got to lobby our state legislators for that or they're liable to slip because at first it was just saying reverse Citizens United, that's not enough. So that's the second thing we need to do. The uh, sixth anniversary of Citizens United is coming up. Who knows the date of that? 21st. Yes, January 21st. So we always do actions then. We're going to be flyering BART stations this time, and I'd love to have you join Move, the Move to Amend Coalition, Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, and others who, who care about these matters. Um, yes, please join us that evening. It's a Thursday from five to seven flyering. And one of the things we're gonna be flyering about is stopping the TPP and actions on February 4th. Now, Ralph Nader called the TPP, um, oh gosh, where is it? The, the worst, the most brazen corporate power grab in American history. That pretty much sums it up. So we gotta stop that. We gotta do everything we can to stop that. And um, we've had some victories there. Um, Berkeley and Richmond and a lot of other cities around the country have been declaring themselves TPP free zones. Give me a yay. Yeah, so we need more of those and that'll be even more important if it passes. It could pass as early as February 4th. Whether or not it passes, there are gonna be nationwide actions on February 4th, which is also a Thursday. And um, there's, a, there's a map of those, the best website, it's on Move to Amend and many others, but flushthetpp.org is the best one. <laughs> flushthetpp.org, yeah, you can find all the actions there and a map of actions. Guess what? There's nothing yet planned for the, for the Bay Area. So right now, I think these, and I, you are such a wonderful group of change makers, I think we can decide right now what we're going to do on Thursday, February 4th about the TPP. Um, just call out, where do you think is the most appropriate place to have a protest in the Bay Area about the TPP? Federal building. City Hall. <laughs> Federal Reserve Building. City Hall. City Hall. Which City Hall? Berkeley, Berkeley City Hall. Berkeley City Hall. By the Berkeley. Well, it's a national and, uh, okay, any other ideas? Ah, Boxer, Feinstein, Pelosi. To, so the, yeah. Court, which court? Ferry station, okay. Maybe we should first decide on a time. How many people are willing to show up on Thursday, February 4th? Please raise your hand. All right, um, call out the time that's best. Rush hour, evening, morning, morning maybe before? Noon. Noon, a noon, I like noon. Let's have a vote. Uh, let's vote on morning rush hour, noon, or uh, evening rush hour. Raise your hand if you like morning rush hour. Okay, raise your hand if you like noon. Raise your hand if you like evening rush hour. Uh, looks to me like noon, uh, but I don't want to be prejudiced. What do you think? Does that, does that look like noon got a few more votes? Yeah. Okay, let's do it noon. Okay, now we're going to vote on the place. Federal Reserve Building, um, Berkeley City Hall, Ferry Building. Port of Oakland. Port of, o Port of Oakland, uh-huh. Feinstein's office. Feinstein's office. Okay, we got five locations to vote on. Uh, Feinstein's office, raise your hand. 
That's a, that's a nice high visibility place, easy to get to. Post Street, San Francisco. Um, <laughs> okay, Feinstein's yeah. house. Um, Feinstein's office got more votes. Okay, um, ferry building. Raise your hand if you want ferry building. Um, raise your hand if you want Berkeley City Hall. Raise your hand if you want the, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Port of Oakland. Raise your hand if you want the federal, federal building or federal reserve building? Federal building. Federal building down in downtown San Francisco. Um, which got the most votes? Feinstein's office. I think Feinstein's office got the best votes, or the most votes. I think so. Do you agree? Okay, we're, we'll do that at noon, Feinstein's office. High visibility, a lot of people on their lunch breaks. Good. Okay, what else can we do? There is um, the BICOT. You can sign up and organizations can sign up at flushthetpp.org for a BICOT. So we are pledging to, to buy only local, independent, and fair trade whenever possible. It's not always possible. But if a lot of, if thousands and thousands of people do that, that's going to make a big impact. Maybe it's also and used on the bike. Oh, right, absolutely. Used, recycled, pre owned. Thank you. Um, so on um, the anniversary of 21, we're going to be publicizing um, February 4th. Now, um, with move, the move to amend coalition and a lot of the groups, the big issue is growing the movement. And I want to point out Jim McFadden there. Will you stand up, Jim, please? He's the chair of the East Bay chapter of Move to Amend. And Larry Abbott, will you stand, Larry, also is uh, very active in Move to Amend, very helpful, he's a big union person. And so we are growing this movement, and it's the only thing that ever has and ever will make a difference for us to have a huge movement, cross-sector, cross-faction, solidarity with oppressed people, and are there any people of color here tonight? Hardly at all. That's like a big problem. Yeah, and for those of you who are, thank you. And we need, we need to work on that. Um, another thing you can do is stamp all of your paper cash. There's a station over there. We can stamp it with revolutionary messages. And then as long as it stays in, in circulation, whoever reads that will get the message. So um, not to be used for bribing politicians is one. And the system ain't broke, it's fixed. But let's fix it. Thank you.